Welcome back. And now to the fastest sinking city in America. It's not in Texas or Florida or Louisiana. It's right here in the Central Valley, the town of Corcoran, just up the road from us in Kings County. Corcoran, California, home to some 20,000 people. It's known as the farming capital of the state. But the city, some 65 miles north of Bakersfield, now is known as the sinking capital of the state. Over the last 14 years, some parts of the city have sunk as much as 11 and a half feet. It's such a bizarre concept. You know, what do you mean the ground is sinking? Journalist Lois Henry is the founder of the independent nonprofit news site SJV Water. She spent more than a year reporting on the forces causing the land beneath Corcoran to sink. The Central Valley in general has been sinking for many years. The primary culprit? Agriculture. Sinking, also known as land subsidence, happens when farmers are unable to get enough surface water for their crops. So they're forced to pump out huge amounts of water from below the ground. When underground water reservoirs known as aquifers are depleted too much, the land sinks. And that's exactly what's happening in Corcoran, but at a rate unmatched in California. This whole giant area is, is sinking because of the groundwater pumping. But Corcoran's at the center. You know, I mean, if, if you had a heat map, it'd be the splotch of red or purple right in the middle. In fact, this map from the state of California shows just that. The Corcoran area, seen in red, sunk roughly five feet in just the last five years. The subsidence of the land surrounding Corcoran has happened at a glacial pace over the last several decades, nearly imperceptible to the naked eye. Perhaps the most obvious result of the subsidence? This levee I'm standing on. The levee sank seven feet and had to be built back up at a cost of $10 million to local taxpayers. Well, yeah, I didn't realize it was, it was sinking that fast. Fred Figueroa founded Lake Bottom Brewery and Distillery in downtown Town Corcoran a couple years ago. He worries about the impacts land subsidence could have on the local economy. It creates a problem somewhere down the line where uh, it affect our, you know, being able to have people come in or whatever. Damage to the city's infrastructure and flooding are also big concerns. The issue has garnered the attention of Congressman David Valadeo. He represents this area. We're seeing damage not just in Kings County here in Corcoran, but we're seeing it all throughout the valley. And so all of our communities are, are struggling. And all of the communities throughout uh, their cities, for the most part, rely on underground water as well. So their wells are just as vulnerable as the farmers. While he acknowledges the land subsidence in Corcoran is nearly irreversible, he says there are some solutions. Valadeo wants the legislature and Congress to pass legislation to make it easier for places like Corcoran to store water above ground. But until that happens, it's been here for a while now, and I don't see it getting any better in the future. Yeah, you're going to see a lot more pumping uh, throughout the valley and a lot more pumping in that area. And that surely will lead to more sinking.